Making your own wedding invitations or making them for friends and family is a great way of adding a personal touch to a very special day. We've created a range of different designs so you can be sure of finding something that works perfectly, whether the couple are celebrating in a traditional or a modern style. To make them really special, several of the designs can be customised so that they feature the bride and groom's initials or even their photograph. Each card is simple to make and they have all been created with mass production in mind. You can buy all the basic materials from good stationers and craft suppliers or from specialist wedding shops. Most of the invitations are based on cream, white or pearlized blank cards, complemented by satin and organza ribbons. The designs include conventional folded cards as well as individual slips designed to fit inside a decorated outer sleeve. All the invitations are based on printed details that you can produce yourself on a computer or have printed professionally. Hearts and flowers are always popular, but we've included a range of more contemporary motifs. Several of the designs, such as the paper heart and the double stamped heart, offer variations on a theme, so you can create a different card to invite guests to both the wedding and reception or just to the reception. There are also ideas for thank you cards for the bride and groom to send after the wedding, using the same theme as the rest of their stationery. The designs will suit every budget, from the pressed daisy invitations, which are easy to create using wrapping paper and pressed daisy flower heads, to the paper heart cards featuring a beaded wire decoration that will make a lovely memento of the day. Whichever cards you choose to make, Cheryl will show you how every step of the way, whether you are creating a dozen handcrafted invitations or a hundred. If you want to save money by making your own cards to fit regular size envelopes instead of using pre-prepared cards, or you want a particular shade of card that isn't available ready-made, you can buy A3 or A4 cardstock and cut it down. The quickest way to do this is to use A4 card and mark a point halfway across each short edge. Using the point of a bone folder against a metal ruler, score a line between the two points. Mark a point halfway along the two long edges. Join the points with a metal ruler and use a craft knife to cut between the two points. Fold each resulting card in half and use a bone folder to press a neat fold. The cards will fit a standard sized envelope. For each project, we've shown you how to make a single card. When you've chosen the design you want to make, look for ways of simplifying production. Printing the invites so you can stick them into the card and only need to add the name is one obvious way, as is printing out address labels. You can also mass produce the various components of your card design to make the whole process much quicker. For example, measure out one piece of ribbon then use this as your guide for cutting all the other lengths you'll need. Where you'll need a lot of an individual item, such as the pre-printed invitation strips, prepare them all at once, stick them onto pre-cut card strips and set them aside until needed. Make up all the bows you'll need for a design in one go. You'll get quicker at it as you work. If you need to stamp a lot of items or a lot of cards, do them all at once. If you need to cut a lot of a particular shape, see if you can buy a craft hole punch to help you. There are lots of motifs available and a heart one's an easy one to find. If you need to stamp a lot of initials, for example, you can mark out a grid of squares of the appropriate size and then stamp into each section. Do a few more stamps than you'll need to allow for problems, then cut out using a metal ruler and a craft knife. We've drawn the lines in pencil quite strongly so they'll show up, but you could do them much more faintly. 
Even quicker, cut the strips with a craft knife to get a nice straight edge, but trim off the individual squares using scissors. You can also punch a hole in the corner of each square before you cut it out to streamline the process even further. This set of invitation cards offers the option of two different card designs, which could be used for guests invited to the wedding and reception or reception only, plus a themed thank you card for the bride and groom to use after the event. The first design on pearlized card features a pre-cut paper heart decorated with a beaded wire heart. The invitation is pre-printed on a folded insert set inside the card. The second design features a beaded wire heart caught by bands of narrow satin ribbon with a pre-printed folded invitation insert. A paper heart and pre-printed thank you label are tied onto the thank you card with a narrow satin ribbon and a printed insert saves the job of handwriting each one. Matching pearlized envelopes are sealed with paper hearts. To make the card decorated with the paper heart and beaded wire heart, Take a pre-cut paper heart and lay the wire heart over it on a cutting mat. Use a single hole punch to punch a hole through the paper just within the top curves of the wire heart. Thread one end of a length of narrow pink satin ribbon through the top of the wire heart, then through the holes in the paper heart and bring it back up through the wire heart and tie with a double knot. Trim the ends of ribbon diagonally. Apply paper glue to the back of the heart and stick to the front of the pearlized card blank. Take a pre-printed invitation insert, trimmed to be a little smaller all around than the actual card, and fold in half. Run a line of paper glue along the back, close to the fold, and stick to the inside of the card. The second design uses ribbon to attach the wire heart to the card. Open the card blank out flat on the cutting mat. Use a craft knife to cut three slits just a little wider than your ribbon on the fold and about six millimeters apart. Repeat on the opening edge of the card, about six millimeters in from the edge. The slits don't have to align. Use the tip of your craft knife to open up the slit slightly before you start work. Cut one end of narrow cream satin ribbon on the diagonal and thread through to the back of the card, starting at the top slit on the fold. Bring the ribbon back up to the front and then thread it through the wire heart. Continue working with the same end of the ribbon, lacing it through the slits and trimming the end of it frays. Use a craft knife to help you poke it through.
Tie the ends of the ribbon together in a double knot close to the start and cut the ends on the diagonal. Adjust the ribbon and the heart, add an appropriate invitation insert as before. The thank you card uses a smaller, pearlized heart blank. Open the card out flat and lay a pre-cut paper heart on the front plus a pre-cut thank you label. Use a single hole punch to make a hole through all the layers in the top left-hand corner. Thread the end of a length of narrow pink ribbon through the holes, bring it up over the top of the card and knot the ends to tie all the pieces in place. Cut the ends of the ribbon on the diagonal. Print the insert as a single sheet to a size to fit within the card. Run a line of paper glue around the edge on the wrong side and stick the insert inside the card. Put your invitation card inside the envelope and apply paper glue to the wrong side of a paper heart, then use this to seal the flap. This is a very simple and very personal invitation design. It will look wonderful if you use a picture of the bride and groom, but you can use the same idea for any other black and white picture that suits a wedding theme. You'll need multiple copies of the image, which you can either print off using your computer or get done at a high street photo shop. The picture is attached to the front of the card using photo corners and a printed wedding invitation label is attached beneath it using a foam adhesive pad to give a raised 3D effect. For a final special touch, the envelope can be finished with a miniature version of the same image. Print off the photo using good quality photographic paper if possible. You'll need several of each size of the prints. Use a craft knife and a cutting mat to trim the photo, leaving a narrow white frame around it so that you have a cutout image 5 cm square. Make a positioning template to help you get the image in the right place each time. Cut this to the size of the card front, then cut an aperture 5.5 cm square, 2 cm down from the top edge. Lay this on the card, then moisten the photo corners well and slip each one onto a corner of the photo. Position the photo centrally within the cutout on the card front. Take a pre-printed wedding invitation label and a strip cut from an adhesive foam pad. Stick the foam pad to the back of the label, peel off the backing paper and stick the label to the card front below the photo. Take a printed invitation insert, fold in half and run a line of paper glue close to the fold on the wrong side, then stick in place. Take a length of narrow satin ribbon and tie the insert in place, knotting the ends of the ribbon at the front and then tying a bow, cutting the ends diagonally.
To finish the envelope, cut out a smaller photo, apply paper glue to the back of it, and either use it as a sticker to seal the envelope, or stick it to the bottom of the front of the envelope, below the space for the address. Press daisies and gold gift wrap are the simple items used to decorate this set of wedding stationery. The single card invitation is printed on pale cream paper and stuck to matching card, and a press daisy is set on a torn square of gold gift wrap at the top of the card. The invitation card slips inside a decorated outer sleeve tied with gold or ganza ribbon. The envelope is sealed with a daisy decorated square of gift wrap to match the invitation card. There's also a smaller card suitable for the bride and groom to use as a thank you card. To make the invitation, take the blank card inner and some appropriate gold gift wrap. Hand tear a strip of gift wrap then tear out a four centimetre square so you have torn edges on all sides. Use paper glue to apply this to the top of your blank card. Decorate this with a pressed daisy. You can press the daisies yourself if you plan well in advance, placing them between sheets of blotting paper in a flower press or beneath a heavy book. Stick a daisy to the gold square using PVA glue. Apply this sparingly to the back of the flower head with a cocktail stick and taking the glue right to the ends of the petals. Cut the printed invite to fit and use paper glue to stick it to the card to complete the invite inner. To make the decorated outer sleeve, Open the blank sleeve out flat and mark and cut two slits about two centimetres long, centred on the long outer edges, about one centimetre in from the edge. Use a craft knife and a metal ruler to cut the slits. Hand tear two strips of gift wrap about two centimetres wide, tearing them so that the white edges are on the discarded paper. Apply paper glue to the back of the strips, then stick these down the center of each front panel. Turn the outer sleeve over and trim off the excess with a craft knife. Glue a press daisy to each torn strip, one at the top and the other towards the bottom of the adjacent strip. Apply the glue with a cocktail stick as before to spread it thinly. Put the invite inner inside the sleeve, then cut the end of a length of organza ribbon on the diagonal.
thread it through one slit from the front, then up and out of the other. Tie in a double loose knot and trim the ends. To make the thank you card, use the smaller folded card and tear another strip of paper. Apply paper glue to the wrong side, then stick the strip to the front of the card about six millimeters from the fold. Turn the card over and trim away the excess with a craft knife. Apply PVA glue sparingly to the back of the daisy as before and stick towards the top of the torn strip. Cut the pre-prepared insert a little smaller than the card, fold in half and apply a line of paper glue on the back close to the fold. Stick the insert inside the card, matching the folds. A delightful and simple design featuring a pressed rosebud decorated with an organza bow with satin ribbon trails and an invitation label mounted so that it stands away from the card to create a 3D effect. As an unusual extra touch, put a small handful of rose petal confetti inside each invitation for the recipient when they open the card. Take a pink pre-cut window card, which is designed in three sections. Apply paper glue all around the inside edge of the window aperture. Stick a piece of plain white card, just bigger than the window, in place and apply paper glue to the back flap of the card. Then glue this to the back of the window. Use a cocktail stick to apply PVA glue sparingly to the back of a pressed rosebud working outwards from the centre, then stick towards the top of the white card. Take a length of organza ribbon and fold into a bow shape. Knot a length of narrow pink satin ribbon tightly around the centre. Cut a tiny piece of adhesive foam pad. Peel off the backing and apply to the back of the bow. Peel away the remaining backing and stick the bow to the rose stem. Take the pink card rectangle, apply an adhesive foam pad to the back and stick underneath the rose. Take the pre-printed invitation label and cut an adhesive foam pad in half to fit it. Use this to stick the label on top of the pink card. Take a pre-printed invitation Cut it a little smaller than the card and run a line of paper glue all around the outside edge of it on the back. Stick in place inside the card.
Put a little pink petal confetti inside the card. Slip the card into the envelope, folded edge first and decorated side towards you so that the confetti will spill out when the recipient opens it. This design uses two different rubber stamps and silver metallic ink to create two options for the invitations. The first is a folded sleeve stamped with the diamante encircled initials of the bride and groom either side of a central opening. This holds the pre-printed invite which is set on a sheet of card stamped with a double heart and decorated with diamante stickers. The alternative invitation sleeve is randomly stamped all over with hearts, again with the invitation slipped inside. Choose either of these lovely designs for your invitation, or use one for the wedding and reception invite and the other for a reception-only invitation. The sealed envelope is decorated with a silver stamped heart over the flap. To make the invitation, take a single narrow inner card and stamp a double heart at the top using a heart stamp and silver ink pad. Use a craft knife to lift two diamante stickers from a sheet and apply to the centre of the stamped heart. Take a pre-printed insert and apply paper glue all around the outside edge on the back, then stick in place below the heart. To make the outer sleeve decorated with initials and diamante, take a pre-folded sleeve and stamp the initials of the bride and groom in silver just above the halfway mark and quite close to each central edge. Use a craft knife to separate and lift the diamante stickers from the sheet and apply centrally below, at the side and above each initial, turning the card as you work. The sleeve is then ready for the stamped invitation insert. To make the outer sleeve stamped all over with hearts, take a blank, pre-folded outer sleeve and place on some scrap paper. Press the heart stamp firmly onto the ink pad, making sure it's evenly coated with ink. Then stamp the sleeve, applying even pressure and avoiding rocking the stamp. Coat the stamp with ink each time and stamp randomly over the card, varying the angle of the stamps and allowing some to overlap the edges of the card onto the scrap paper and some to go right across the central opening. Slip the stamped pre-prepared invitation inside once the ink is dry.
Decorate the flap of the envelope to match. Put the invite inside the envelope. Seal it and stamp a heart centrally over the flap. This personalised invitation features the initials of the bride and groom, stylishly stamped in black on white card and attached to the printed invitation with narrow pink ribbon. The outer sleeve is made of silver card with curved flaps tied in place with organza ribbon to secure the invitation card. The design for the thank you card, which could also be used as a smaller version of the invitation, is created using a pre-printed insert to which the stamped initials on card are attached with narrow pink ribbon. This is contained within an outer sleeve with curved flaps stamped with the bride's and groom's initials tied with narrow pink satin ribbon. You can hand deliver the cards or use plain envelopes to enclose them. Cut two squares of white card, each two and a half centimetres square. Use a stamp for the initial letter of the bride's and groom's first names and stamp these centrally on the squares with black ink. Take a printed invite, cut to the right size to fit into the outer sleeve, and punch a hole in the top left-hand corner with a single hole punch. Do the same on the two stamped squares. Thread the narrow pink ribbon through the hole at the top of the invite, tie a double knot, and tie each of the stamped initial cards onto the ends of the ribbon. Lay a silver outer sleeve with curved flaps out flat on a cutting mat and use a craft knife and metal ruler to cut two two centimetre long slits centred opposite each other on two of the fold lines. Thread the length of organza ribbon through the slit from the front of it across the centre and back out the other side. Slide the invitation in place behind the ribbon, then fold in the top and bottom of the outer, followed by the side edges. Tie the ribbon in a bow across the folds and trim the ends diagonally. This card uses a smaller white outer with curved flaps and a small square pre-printed insert. Stamp the initials of the bride and groom on two squares of white card and punch holes in the top left-hand corners with a single hole punch. Punch two holes in the insert, about one and a half centimetres in from the top and bottom and a little way in from the side edge. Thread narrow pink ribbon through the holes. Tie in a knot at the centre front, then knot the stamped initials cards onto the ends of the ribbon.
Fold in all the flaps on the outer, running your finger along the folds to give a sharp crease. Open the flaps out again, then fold in the two side edges and stamp the initials centrally opposite each other. Open the flaps up again and lay out flat with right sides facing you. Avoiding smudging the ink, punch a hole in the outer edge of one stamped flap. Fold the outer up again and mark where to position the punched hole in the other stamped flap, then open out again and punch the hole. Set the insert in place, tucking the initials inside, and fold up the top and bottom flaps, then the side ones. Thread a length of narrow pink ribbon through the punched holes and tie in a bow on the front. Adjust the loops and trim the ends of the ribbon on the diagonal. The invitation is a simple pre-printed sheet decorated with a strip of wedding day print, the decorative theme that runs through this project. The print is easy to produce using a computer or photocopier. It's secured inside an embossed, wardrobe-folded outer sleeve, tied with a narrow satin ribbon and decorated with a transparent heart backed with the wedding day print. A matching embossed envelope is decorated with a sticker made of the wedding day print, bordered with pink to match the ribbons used throughout. To make the invitation, take a computer printout of the wedding day print. You can do this typing the words wedding day into a document on your computer in different typefaces and then printing out a sheet of this script or photocopying something similar. Cut a narrow strip of the print from your sheet and then take your pre-printed invitation and lay it on a cutting mat. Set the print strip across the top of the invitation and use a single hole punch to punch a hole in the top left hand corner. Cut a length of narrow, pale pink satin ribbon and fold it in half. Thread the folded end through the holes from the back. Take the ribbon ends over the top and down through the loop and pull the loop down to the front. Then trim the ends diagonally. To make the outer to hold the invitation card, take a pre-folded embossed sleeve, slip the invitation card inside, making sure you fill in the guests' names, and cut a length of satin ribbon. Tie this around the card in a bow and trim the ends diagonally. Take a transparent heart sticker and make a paper template a little smaller than it. We've given you a template you could use. Trace around it onto your wedding day printed sheet, then cut out using a craft knife. Take the transparent heart from its backing and stick the printed paper heart to the back of it. A 
apply a piece of double-sided tape on the back of the heart. Stick the heart on top of the ribbon on one half of the front of the outer sleeve. Use a matching embossed envelope for your finished invitation and decorate it with a toning sticker. Cut a small square of wedding day print, then attach this to some pink paper with a piece of double-sided tape on the back. Cut out using decorative edged scissors and leaving a border around the printed square. Put the invite into the envelope, seal it and stick the motif to the envelope flap with double sided tape. It's a good idea to print up address labels to use on the front of envelopes like these rather than trying to write on the embossed surface. 